Hi, it is freezing here today in Warwick. I am aboard a 56 foot narrow boat built in 1989 by Black Prince Holidays. Um, in, I would say, project ready condition. I'll do a walkthrough in a second. The engine runs so you can take her away straight away. But downside is she's not been out of the water for at least eight years. And that isn't good. Might suggest you need to do some overplating and welding down below. Um, but I can't guarantee that. Um, she might be fine. Uh, if you want to get her out of the water for a survey, it's about three hours from here, but that can be arranged. Um, but anyway, less of that. Let me show you the boat. Right, we're now looking down the port side. Uh, all green, um, traditional stern, as you can see. Um, engine is under here. I did a little video about that. Um, engine runs, is not in great condition, does need some work, but it's a runner, which means you can get it from here to wherever you want to take the boat. Anyway, let's go in. Um, this boat in its day was a charter boat. So it's a bit bare. Um, it's a bit tired nowadays, but it's got all the attributes you need that you can literally live aboard it straight away. Nice big log fire there, that's working its well. It's lovely and warm that is on a nice cold day like today. You've got a double bed here, um, little wardrobe. Okay, into the, the head if you like. We've got a little shower down here, nicely tiled out. Uh, and behind me is uh, just a hot cold tap, no bother at all, and a mirror uh, going further forward. Here we now have the galley. So a very simple galley. I'll just come in and turn around. Obviously just a sink. And we've got a fridge and a cooker here with a little window above. And um, some very unusual shaped windows here in the forward sort of living space. There's no lounge area on this boat at the moment. This is just simple seats either side with a, with a central, central table which all can be lifted out and let's keep going forwards and in oh, there's no cratch on this boat but there are there is a you know, reasonable place to sit out here and obviously just in the forward locker here we've got all our gas bottles let's now look down the uh, roof of her there it is um, and then back in and I'll now walk all the way back through the boat as it is. Now, as I'm walking through this boat, the um, floor is flexing slightly, which suggests that there was damp in this boat at some point. Um, so I'm not trying to suggest she's perfect. I'd have these floorboards all up. A uh, little peekaboo hatch here, I think over the years has leaked, which, which gives me a, quite a, a soft deck area down below me here. Um, let's open this up there and have a quick look outside to see what it looks like outside. There it is, look. And out we go. So, beautiful. Let's just keep that closed. And obviously a nice steel roof for that part. Um, talking of roofs and deck heads, this isn't the same as what it is up front. This is just white painted board. But it's okay. Um, nice and spacious, that's for sure. Um, and all the way back to the engine. We'll start the engine up in a minute. You can have a look at that. And there's just a very, very simple control panel there. So the question is, what's wrong with her? Okay, well, what is wrong with it? Well, she is obviously a bit tired inside. As I said earlier, floor is a bit soft, which suggests that there might be damp under the floor, which has made the wood bearers and the floor itself get a bit soft. So first of all, you need to lift that up and have a look at that. Secondly, she's not been out of the water in the last eight years. Um, so therefore her anodes must be on their last legs and you may well find there is some welding that needs to be done to the underside of this boat. She may need to be replated in areas. Um, once again, I do not know, I have no survey uh, in recent times to, to suggest that it's good or bad. So that's where we're at with that. Engine 
is okay. Um, needs a few new pipes on it, but it does run. Um, starts no bother at all um, and goes in and out of gear. So plenty of oomph, so um, that's good. She is, however, about three hours away from a place where we could lift her, or you could lift her, uh, for a survey. So that's a downside to it. But look, we're open to offers. I would value her because she's such a nice long boat, um, maybe in her mid-teens. So maybe about 15K to 18K, you'd probably get yourself a nice boat. Um, I would suggest she probably needs maybe another five to eight K's worth of effort and money spending on it. Engine needs fixing, but it's running mainly plating but we don't know but you need to get those floorboards up as i said earlier um i'll take some snaps as well and we'll overlay that over this video and uh, see what you think i really appreciate you looking at this um she is what she is